So we'll start with installing Allegro using Homebrew. Just run brew install Allegro, and the library and all its dependencies will get installed. Once that's done, we can start with a new Cocoa application project in Xcode. Give it a name, and make sure Objective-C is selected as the build language. We won't be targeting Objective-C once we get to the code, but you have the option and can easily combine it with C or C++. With the project created, we can now go ahead and remove all the automatically generated source code. Also delete the included main.m file, as we'll provide our own later on. Now over in the project target configuration, we go to build settings and ensure all combined settings are selected. And now enter search paths in the search bar. Here we'll add a header search path of user local include, enabling recursive for good measure. And we'll add user local lib to the library search paths, also recursive. Under dialect settings, we'll make sure we're targeting at least C++11. It's up to you if you want to use C++14 features instead. Now we need to add the necessary Allegro libraries to the project. Back in the terminal, CD over to user local seller and open it in Finder. Now go into Allegro's library folder and select all the die libs that you need for your project. If in doubt, select them all. And make sure you don't select the alias files. Xcode needs the original libraries for building your app. Now we go to build phases and create a new copy files phase. And make sure it's a framework's destination. Then we drag the same libraries as the previous step over to the list. That'll ensure those external libraries get included in the final build. And now we can write a simple Allegro based app to try it all out. Just like in a previous video, we'll create a 640 by 480 window, clear it to magenta, and pause for 5 seconds. And there we go. You're now ready to build an Allegro based game in macOS, or port an existing Windows or Linux project over. I should point out that these instructions are only applicable for a macOS project. Building for iOS requires a custom compiled copy of Allegro, and I may release a video on that in the future, but you can check out some older instructions in the description below. Thanks for watching!